Hey chess lovers, welcome back to the chess yard. This is Dehre Bagga and today I'll be playing the 5 minute blitz on lead chess and during the game I'll try to be as instructive as possible like always making sure that there's something to be taken away as a learning that helps you improve your game to the next level. Now before I start with the game I request you to subscribe to my channel and press on the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any of the videos that I'm posting up daily without a miss. So yeah, let's start with the game and see how it goes. Got the black pieces, I'll play the Karo Khan defense. That starts with c6, what by d5, the main move. Open can take, of course, and I take back. Bishop goes back generally to b3. Oh, it gives a check instead. Now this bishop moves, coming straight away. Trying to trade my weaker bishop for my opponent's stronger one. Take with the knight here, so that I'm preparing to go here as well, which he defends straight away uh, with the pawn. So I can play e6 now. Try to develop my bishop and knight. Okay. What have we got here? I think I should start with the knight. I'm letting his bishop come here and pin it if he wants to. Yep. So that now we can go here, attacking the pawn. This is again defended with the knight, so there's no issues. I'll not be spoiling my pawn structure. Okay, he gets the rook there. I can get my bishop maybe here, trying to take on the knight. Maybe just trying to pin it. Pawn forward, then, then I have to think about it. But not now. I have this knight move now. Because he cannot take my knight and spoil my pawn structure. He goes back instead now. Which means I can take this first and see from what he does take back. This or this or this. He has got three options. Thing with the pawn would be good because he opens up against the queen. Takes with the bishop. That's interesting too. If he had taken with the knight, I had ideas of taking the pawn. So of course the opponent saw that coming. Um, I'm still thinking if I can take here. Or I should just let my knight be on more controlling square that it is. Try to go here next. I have this queen coming over here as well. Eyeing the diagonal. Knight here would mean that I'm attacking more on h2, uh, which is prevented by this pawn. I think I can take here. Coming back here and here. Oh, this is also nice. I like this flow of the knight, but. I doubt it would work because my opponent will have things to protect it. Maybe I can go from here instead. This might look a bit dubious. If he just tries to control with the bishop, then we can think of other ways around. He gets the queen instead, but my knight is really stay safe there, so I don't need to be bothered about that. Uh, what have we got here? I should just play pawn forward and wait if pawn comes forward i can take my knight here or i can even get my knight yeah but then i don't have a retrieval square so i should be just trying to safeguard my knight as well in the game if bishop here i can play pawn forward then bishop goes back that can be an annoying diagonal so i should castle first once maybe Time-wise, we're okay for now. I think I should cast it, yes. Let me get Rook active. Maybe double up on the C file as well. Trying to take on the Bishop, which is not now possible. But yeah, let's go with this at least. Trying to take on a Pawn, if nothing more. So he defends that. Try to read out my Knight, maybe. This doesn't work. Knight is kind of stuck. Okay, I'll sidestep with my queen first. Just a waiting kind of a move. And get my knight backwards so that both are connected. 
can apply more pressure by getting his knight, but then I take on the knight, so it doesn't work. Now rook lift, and then I can probably have triple attack there. Rook goes here, queen comes here, and then I can take on the pawn maybe. Or just maybe play rook here, attacking the queen. Uh, I should keep this away. Uh, this is a threat. Goes back. I wish I could just trade off that, but that's not possible at this moment. I'll double up the rooks. Comes here, doesn't bother much. Um, let's attack the queen. And then I'll try to double up. Maybe take the pawn if he goes somewhere else. Doesn't. Um, where is my knight going? Actually, nowhere. I need to get my knight here. This knight. Okay, so for that, I need to make space for my queen. So let's do that first. Now, there's a triple attack, which he thinks can save with by moving the rook, maybe. Instant attacks for the. I take, he takes. I take, he takes, and I take. That's enough of a firepower required there. Let's trade off. Does he really want to trade? I doubt. He does, okay. I'll take as well. Where's this knight going? No one in particular though. Let's try to trade off this bishop. I have a knight pair, which is nice. Try to keep my pawns on light squares. Only a couple of them are on dark squares. Okay, I think I should trade this off. Yes, I should. He takes back with the pawn, mostly. And with the rook instead. That's interesting because I doubt that both of these pawns can be saved in one go. I have my knight, which is superior as well. He does take. I'll take this one first, attacking the knight as well. I have this move as well backwards, taking another pawn. A couple of pawns ahead already. That should be good enough of an advantage in the end game. Just that. Ah, oh, he loses the knight, thankfully. And resigns. I was just wondering because I had less time on the clock, but that was still good enough. Anyways, hadn't he done that plunder? Still, I was winning comfortably. Let's analyze the game. Come from computer perspective once. Side of the e4, I played c6. Uh, bishop c4 by the opponent. Uh, that's a bit strange, I would say. And then I try to exchange the pawns in the center. Bishop attacks. I try to take off my bishop trade with that. Best move so far, taking with the knight. Plays d4, I play e6. All standard moves, knight to c3. Knight comes on f6, tries to pin. I go with queen b6 instead. And then bishop on b4, right move there. I'm impressed by myself suddenly. <laughs> okay, knight comes on e2. I go ahead with the knight. I should have castled first as for the computer, but that's fine. Goes back. Take on, takes back. I connect both my knights, trying to keep pieces on the board when you're attacking. Computer saying you can trade off the bishop versus the knight, which I did later on. Uh, that can cause some troubles. My idea of placing this knight over here was that I can maybe come up with a fork someday. But uh, that was quite visible. Uh, moves like that are so clear are tough to be implemented, I would say, because it's you're banking literally on the opponent's mistake. That what if the opponent doesn't defend? Then I can have a fork. Um, so yeah, then I played pawn a6, opponent def uh, places b3 next, I go back with the knight, and then finally I cancel. It's a equalish game so far, as you see, nothing much in the evaluation bar. Yes, I had this slight advantage of minus 1.2 earlier when I was attacking. I could have traded the bishop with the knight and then I was an advantage, but I didn't do that, so that's why uh, I couldn't take the advantage which I could have probably but then i try to align my pieces uh, defend my knight there so that the, my pawn structure is not uh, spoiled 
then rook f to e1 by the opponent but that doesn't make sense over there i tried to just double up with my rooks uh, and then it was important to kick this bishop away as well because if i don't uh, his pawns are going to be deadly it is going to move forward and i cannot take because knight is defending it it can even move one step further and then maybe i have to trade or play pawn forward that becomes this makes this uh dark square diagonal weak then i can probably have to keep my knight always there as a protection unit for a quick checkmate if pawn is there and queen can come in here so i have to be careful with a lot of stuff so i played h6 straight away moving the bishop away at least and then i developed the rooks open tries to attack my knight but that doesn't help because he's only blocking his own uh, open file a uh, semi-open file which the rook was controlling and he, he can he's not really willing to trade this off because i can take back and there's no way of him to get his knight also active because the squares are pretty much controlled by me wherever the knight can go so he had to reroute his knight basically to take advantage of that maybe which he doesn't do and therefore i just try to attack the queen there and then try to triple triple up over there uh, i was wondering why is this rook move not being played i had this let's check what was the disadvantage oh then i can take this one okay yeah because then if he does take i will take control of the last rank as well that was it but he will anyways lose a pawn and that's what happens in the game he lost a pawn because i tripled up and he said i should save with the knight which was the best move as well as for the computer then i take on he does take uh, so he can avoid the trade is what computer suggesting that just move away your queen at least keep queens on the board because you are pawned down and this looks like a solid end game going forward and not to be noticed black has got extra pawn already in the center so that's why computer suggesting to keep queens on the board uh, center pawns are as critical as you know so open does take uh, goes for the trade i took here as well and then again, I remember during the game, I was saying that he should not be trading his queen now because already lost a couple of pawns. So he should be just saving it, them, saving the queen, keeping that on the board. But he doesn't. He, he trades off. I take back. And then he goes there with the knight. I just tried to trade off the bishop as well. Yes, that move was pretty much visible. But I thought I'll first trade off the bishop and then go for that. And I went for it. Open in. Oh, that was a tricky move by the opponent. If he would have spotted that, at least tried to gain advantage of that. And after that, I move up. And suddenly, he's also trying to attack my pawns. But so am I. So I'm ahead in the game. So I think still black is likely ahead because of the extra pawn. And I can gain another by giving just a check. This, And then there's another falling soon so lots of pawns falling for the opponent i've got stronger pawns on my king side and these are going to be good attackers eventually when i promote them to queen so yeah after the trade happened uh over we here yeah i took on the pawn first when he moves forward and then i take on another pawn he just blunders the knight then um probably was willing to play it somewhere else but doesn't matter because anyways i was about to take another pawn there irrespective of the fact where he places the knight yes this was a tricky move where he can take a pawn and then win the knight as well but he loses the knight too so just a pawn extra i hope you like the video uh, as i said again the center pawns were the trick here as well my opponent had lesser pawns and you should not go for trades when you are down a pawn uh, especially of if that pawn is a center pawn so please do watch uh, and subscribe to the channel stay tuned for the latest videos and do let me know your feedback I'm more than happy to change a few stuff if you feel like thank you so much for your time take care bye bye